Okay, this is the performance criteria in the frequency domain. Okay, so it's talking about um, what are the performance criteria in order for it to be stable or not, whether it is satisfactory or not for a closed loop system. So let me re repeat again, it's a closed loop system. What are the things that you need to take note? So in order for a closed loop system to be stable, a Nyquist locus must pass to the right of the negative one plus g omega. So in the Nyquist plot, remember it is minus one, right? Yeah, and then plus j or g, zero j, so you'll be at this point. So it must pass to the right. So this is the radius, okay? So it must pass to the right side, right side of the the Nyquist locus. So it must be all around this plane. That's what it's trying to say, lah. Okay, and then the peak value of the closed loop response must not be too high. Okay. So make sure you know this, okay, this is very important. Don't, don't think that it's performance criteria, then don't, don't remember. It's, it's a must remember, okay. If the question asks that, um, what is actually the critical, what is the phase margin you, you, what is the safest phase margin, okay. Because typically if you have, um, let's say, you, you cannot design a system direct, at exactly at negative 1 or exactly at this radius unit circle. You have to be at somewhere about here, about here, about here, so that you have a certain, um, you know, a room, rooms for any um, unpredictable um, events that may happen. So definitely you want to have some surplus of a margin to, 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 to cushion your, your, your troubles, lah, okay? So therefore, the phase margin has to be 45, deg 45 to 60 degrees, okay? In this case, it should be about, um, about this this angle over here, about sixty degrees to about forty degrees. Okay, so if you are about so if you are at this point, okay, it it is it is still all right beyond beyond this point. Okay, so let me draw it in a in a more defined color. So these are the points that you cannot cross over. Okay, and also, if you cross, if you, if you, ex so you sh so the white color one are the points that you, you can, you can go to. But be beyond that, okay, beyond that, you cannot, you cannot have st any stability anymore. So this is the, the key thing you need to take note. Nonetheless, I think in the negative zone, this also should be 60 degrees or 40 degrees, lah, okay. So this zone also has to be clear. Okay, so this is exactly the second part that I talk. This so this this understanding um clear away the first and the second part, and then for the first and second part, sorry. So the third one says that the bandwidth of the closed loop must be satisfactory. Um, the very as this is I mean the speed of response, which which disturbance are rejected. Okay, this this portion I I I can't understand much. Hopefully in the in the body plot, you may understand. So I'll just leave this one out of it first. You, may, I will recommend you go and memorize. I can't explain it now, and then I'm kind of lazy to go and look at body plot. So just hack care first. Okay. And then the fourth one is the steady state error must be within some specific limit. Okay. Um. So it means that um. So simply three, four, and five is saying this about the same thing. Okay. In terms three is in terms of bandwidth, fourth is in terms of um the signal. Okay, typically in different signals you you input signal you may have a different stability. So make sure you 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 want to design a system that is um what is this? Oh, I may be wrong lah. Okay, I may be wrong. Just let's say you have a um you want to reach this this um this um certain output this is your desired output okay so if if you have a less if you have a less value of gain okay your system may be maybe like this so you have when when it goes to steady state okay when it goes to steady state okay the the error you the the difference between your your system steady state and the desired one is 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 such a big scale right there's there's an error okay so therefore, if you if you increase the gain, okay, if you increase the gain, say that if you increase the gain now, 
you may actually um, re reduce the amount of error so you actually reach your desired output okay however um, you have to design because sometimes if you increase too much again you may actually be unstable over here so you must make sure you uh, you have an optimum between between not crossing the Nyquist block and reaching the desired input value okay so this is, is something you you go and think about it okay it's, it's pretty straightforward so let me repeat again so if let's say your your gain your your desired gain is this but if you put in a so let's say this is k equals to three so if you put in k equals to three your your bet your 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 value is actually out of the negative one so you're actually out of the this zone this one radius zone so therefore this is unstable right and therefore um, what you can do actually reduce the k to some values over here right i mean sorry maybe over here because it's still within your acceptable range so if you read if you, let's say you were to reduce let's say i change the color so i change to k k is equals to this 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 value over here so when k is equals to some value let's say it's equals to uh, 1.5 you may have some value over here it is just just in your in your safe region okay and then still it, it has a certain error but still you minimize the error compared to this to this from here to here right you minimize it so this is what it's talking about and the fifth one is just simply saying that it should be robust in order to be robust you have to look at the game margin so the game margin if you remember is just one over um, lambda which is this this distance some distance now okay so typically you want to reduce the, the amount of lambda so that your game margin will be high so if you remember game margin has to be high face margin has to be high so this is the this this these are the five general concepts except I can't explain the third one. So um with this I'll just do a summary and then I'll see you in the next video for a summary. Yeah, bye.